Okay, this is my latest. Uh, I just picked this up last week. This is a Seberg USC1, which is a, a band shell, a musical band shell. They made this in 1970-1971. Uh, picked this up from some sweet lady that it had it. They played it for eight years, and then when it stopped working, they put it out in the garage for a number of years, and that's how I found it. She thought it just needed a fuse, and what I really found out is they only thing they ever did to it is push the buttons. They never did any lubrication or repairing. So uh, what the reality of it was is the motor and uh, all the internal mechanisms seized up from gunk and lack of oil and all that uh, old lubrication that turns to glue. And it actually broke the motor coupling in half. So I went in and replaced the motor coupling and lubed and cleaned and got rid of a lot of varnish. Uh, replaced the bad plugs on it, replaced all the starters and all the fluorescent tubes were shot. Cleaned the bejeebers out of it. This thing on the inside was just grody after sitting in a Texas garage and all the other abuse. Uh, I think it's kind of bugging me is someone, I don't know if you can... Somebody decided to put some shelf paper, like a, the plastic contact paper, on the inside of here. So it actually blocks uh, most all of the light from coming out to the front panel. And anybody that's ever put down that contact paper like that, uh, I'm sure this contact paper is ancient. So I don't quite know how, how I can remove that without removing all the color on the front. Probably going to end up having to just strip the whole thing down and put some kind of... Uh, new color on there and figure out how to actually paint on some new uh, translucent colors and try and get it back to normal uh, but it's a good box and it sounds good and uh, well, the other thing is if you look at the top it has this really cool this it doesn't show up on the video as purple but this is purple this is almost a magenta purple and it's just a piece of plastic on there that happens to be that color. Down in the bottom, the plastic is removed, and so it's just shining white light down there. So I want to get some colored plastic down there to light up the bottom grill. But all in all, it's a nice little box. I mean, just I just I threw a random records in that I just happened to have that you kind of things that you acquire that you don't actually ever even put into sleeves because they're not records that you would play. But they're good for testing with, so let's just see how it works. Let's pick one here. Um, see what I get. Oh, the other thing about this? They put in the wrong amp. What is this? Oh, gosh. Oh, what an appropriate song for small children. Okay. Oh, by the way, the other thing that I learned when I got this is that this is supposed to have a TSA amplifier. So this is supposed to be a TSA, but it's not. Instead, it's an S. It's a TSA 10. Is what it's supposed to have in it. This is an uh, an SHP1 high-powered amplifier, which goes for a much newer model. So they uh, rigged this one in here, and uh, it works. But uh, you just never know what you're gonna find when you buy one of these. But I checked it all out and um, checked all the fuses and everything works. It's got some some new caps, some old caps, so it's uh, it's gonna need a capping soon. Great song, huh? Ringo Starr, I think. Anyway, so the other thing about this is that the side panels are kind of dark. You can barely see him. Oh, also, I don't have the key to the uh, the box on the side. 
so there might be a quarter or two in there for all I know. Yeah, I definitely want to put some of that gel pack, which is the, what they, the colors they actually put in front of theater lights to change the lights that shine on theaters, the spotlights, they have this different colored plastic, they call it gel packs. So. All it is is different colored sheets of plastic that are made to be abused in high temperature. Well, there you go. That's my latest find and I've cleaned it up enough where it's going to time to go up to the game room. <laughs>